can upload it through by ECFMG app, um, which is called as my ECFMG, or you can email ECFMG that I have received my degree and this is my degree. Also, you have to make sure that your degree is in English language. They do not accept uh, degrees which are in foreign languages in Hindi or Punjabi or any anything else like Chinese or something like that. You have to translate your degree into English and then you have to upload it in, through my ECFMG app and also or you can uh, email the ECFMG that this is my degree and I have completed my uh, medical school. So step one, step two, CK and your degree. After you have completed all these three steps plus your pathway certification, which would be OAT and uh, good standing certificate from your medical council or any authority which deals with you. For me, it was Punjab Medical Council, which provided me the uh, good standing certificate. Um, so step one, step two, CK, OAT, pathways and then degree. All of this combines together to give you an ECFMB certificate. So you, once you get an ECFMB certificate, once the uh, um, ECFMG has uh, said in your uh, in your uh, OSIS, which is called as uh, so, there's a portal on ECFMG called as OSIS. So when you go on OSIS, you click it, and you see that ECFMB certificate has been issued on this date, and this is a certification num certificate number. You will get the certificate in the mail, but on their medical record on on their record that you, uh, it is written that you're certified so you can start applying for step three at that moment only you do not have to wait for your uh, certificate to come in the mail so uh, for step three for applying for step three uh, step three is not applied in a usual manner as you apply for step one or step two ck for step one and step two ck you apply through uh, ecfmg right but for uh, step three, you have to apply through FSMB website. 